hello hello welcome 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 everybody you know i'm orlando machuca jr your dmv socialite instructor salsero bachatero we're going to be going live for whitman walker today so stay tuned we're going to be talking uh, with whitman walker about wellness today so if you know you want to hear some little tips on how to you know, stay well and be conscious about yourself. Stay tuned. We're going to be talking about wellness with Whitman Walker. There's a number down here for the Whitman Walker Wellness Services. If you want to call them and ask any questions, always follow Whitman Walker for your information of your DMV area. Hello, we're just waiting for Whitman Walker to join us, so stay tuned. So I don't have a co-host today, but we are joining them so they can have information with Whitman Walker and just perfect. Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? We got Brennan setting up right there the Whitman Walker uh, logo for you guys. Thank you, Brennan. Join in. We're going to wait a little bit for a few people to join us. We'll be talking about wellness today. So if that's something you're interested in listening to and just you know getting away from being on the computer at home just want to chat with me ask questions join us join us join us we'll start like in a minute or two good morning good morning good to see everyone how's everybody holding up in these times Grab your water, grab your drink. Come chat with me for a little bit. For those of you just joining, we're here with Whitman Walker. For those of you that don't know, my name is Orlando. I go by he, him, or his. Sometimes she, depending on the comfort level. But I am an employee with Whitman Walker Health, social media influencer. For those of you who didn't know, whenever you see me post any information about getting tested, COVID-19, um, just information to help you guys stay healthy and stay informed on how to be safe and be cautious. There's a lot of things going on right now and people going out, people are hanging out. Do it cautiously. Make sure you take care of yourself, take care of your family. It's very important. But like I said, my name is Orlando with the Whitman Walker Health. I am their social media influencer. During the past few months, the Whitman Walker Health community department has expanded outreach efforts to social media platform. We cover various topics about HIV, STI, sexual health practices, access to care, social detriment of health, general public intervention, and the next series of outreach sessions will focus on the current pandemic, COVID-19, ways to manage your sexual, personal, and mental health. The community health team is here to educate and support you. So we wanted to share some tips for you. So for those of you who might have to leave real quick, Follow Whitman Walker, follow them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. They always have great information on things. Thank you, guys. I love you all, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I miss you all. All right, so let's get started. Today's topic is about wellness. So wellness can mean a lot of things. It means your health. It means you, your brain, your mind, your mental health. So take time for yourself. Take time for a walk, to exercise, to de-stress, you know, just 30 minutes of walking or exercise can go a long way for your health and well-being. And in my case, get up and dance. I love to dance, um, you know, look out for some classes where I'm just making people dance and getting up and getting out of the office, getting off of the computer, get up, dance, play two or three songs and just live, dance, enjoy your body, enjoy your emotions and get your mind right. If you're outside exercising, remember that we are in the middle of a pandemic that's disproportionately affecting black and Latinx communities. So yes, more, more black and more Latin people are being affected by this, whether it's uh, you know different reasons, but the fact is that it is happening. So be super cautious. You know, we want you guys to be super healthy and super, 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 super comfortable living long lives. Um, hold, on, hold yourselves and others accountable by wearing your mask correctly and reminding others to wear theirs. I know people get comfortable with their mask and they, you know, wear them like this, wear them like that. Make sure you put it on, especially if you're near a group of people. If you know you're very far away from people, great, take it off. 
and be very cautious of your surroundings and, and your, you know, your quarantine friends and all of the good stuff. All right. So don't let people speak in your face, uh, in your direction without a mask on. If possible, ask them to put it on. Very important. If you know you're in a situation that you can't have that six feet, um, you know, I've been in places where I'm not wearing my mask and someone's really close. I just don't talk toward them. I talk, I look away. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm not going to talk toward you because I don't want none of my spit to get in your mouth by accident. As much as we try, we never know what's coming out of our mouths, what's going in our mouths. So be super cautious of not speaking or having your mouth open while someone is directly in front of you in your direction. So proper use of mask means handling with clean hands and making sure it covers both your nose and your mouth at all times. Make sure to clean your hands, wash with soap for 20 seconds. You've heard the rules. Hand sanitizer, I have like two gallons and I always carry them in my bag. So get yourself a little bag. I have a little man bag to carry my mask, extra mask. If I need hand sanitizer, if something happens to your mask, make sure you always have a spare because you never know it's gonna go on. You might drop it, it might get dirty, it might get wet and you're, you're out of luck so make sure you always have extra all right so clean your hands 20 seconds clean between your fingers the back of your hands underneath your fingernails before handling these masks so to clean under nails either cut them all the way down or make sure you clean them before and after you put some sanitizer on them your palms make sure you get to your palms the inside your wrists all the way so if you need to you know go to youtube and find out how to effectively use a handle a mask and wash your hands. So you can find that, um, go to the Whitman Walker page and there'll be links on how to do everything correctly. All right. We also have, like I said, we also have tutorials on how to handle gloves. A lot of you are using gloves and touching every, every little thing, but guess what? Then you go touch your phone, then you touch your car, then you're putting germs that weren't even there in the first place. So be very careful. Use the gloves for what you need them and discard them in the trash. Don't throw them on the floor. Nobody needs to be picking up after your grown self, all right? Same thing goes for your mask. I've seen plenty of masks on the floor, and that's just not the look we're, we're trying to give right now. So put them in the trash can. Make sure you wash your hands right after you throw them away, all right? So make sure you put that in the trash. Expose your gloves. Clean your hands after removing your gloves by using soap and water or hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. Like I said, we do have videos, so those will be available. Go to Wetman Walker, they have YouTube, and you'll see the link down here that they're putting for us. Be vigilant, pay attention to your surroundings. Maintain six feet of physical distance between you or others, if possible, um, it's your best ability. When you can't physically distance yourself, wearing your mask over your nose and mouth um, are very important, making sure others around you are doing the same. It is vital to help you prevent any new cases of COVID-19. For your mind, check in on our community. Check in on your friends, family, partners, um, even yourself. If you feel like nobody's reached out to you, you know, reach out to a friend. I'm sure everybody's going in their mind like, do I want to bother someone? Do I not want to bother them? Just start up a conversation, and that's always going to validate your, hey, are you okay? How are you feeling? So, um just get in the habit. The more you do it, the more it's going to come back to you. I know that if somebody asks me, how am I doing? I'm going to say, I'm doing good. And how about you? How are you doing? So if you feel like maybe nobody's reaching out, we don't know what anybody's going through. We don't know about family. We don't know about friends. So it's very important to be very, very aware. Everybody's different. So if you need something, say something. Don't be shy. Um, identify privilege and condemn it. All right. Some of us have more, you know, options of what's going on. And we know that, you know, hey, I don't really hang out with people. Some people are introverts. They stay home. Yes, they're fine. They don't even think about, well, I'm good. My mental brain is good. So, you know, you guys check out on your friends that, you know, maybe have to go out. Maybe have to work. Maybe you're out being social. It's super, super double-sided. So let's help each other out. You know, we're, we're all one. Educate yourself on events. In your own state and other states, education can look like reading a book. Vogue magazine um, shared an essential anti-racist reading of recommendations, you know. See the link below. And most importantly, rest. Your voice, your time, your space are sacred. 
it's okay to take a break, recharge. I know a lot of you are, oh, let's do this, let's do this, let's go hiking. If you need some time, take your time, all right? So it's okay to take a break, recharge. The past few months, a lifetime for some of us have been super heavy. Visionaries, you imagine and generate and implement the bold possibilities, hopes, and dreams. You remind us of our direction. Builders, you develop, organize, implement, practice, and people, practices and people. Caregivers, you nurture um, and nourish people around you by creating, sustaining a community of care, joy, and connection. Disruptors, you take uncomfortable and risky actions to shake up status quo, to raise awareness, to build power. We're all different, guys. Um, accept everybody how they are. They're all going to be a certain way of being themselves, whether it's, you know, super gentle or super rough. Just be, be, be super vocal. Communicate with them. Like, hey, I don't like this. Hey, I enjoy this. Maybe do this a little more, right? So super important. Whenever you align, we need you. We value you. We see you. So does anybody have any questions, you know, anything that you want to ask? We're super here for you guys. Um, so don't forget to follow Whitman Walker, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. There's always information on not just today. Today we're talking about wellness, how to be cautious, how to find habits to get in the, you know, habits to do. Go dancing, go walking, go running. Um, you know, watch your space, you know, get your little quarantine friends. That way it's easy to be able to work outside, work out outside, you know, even if it's just a walk. You know, a lot of my friends are like, hey, a walk is better than nothing. Go out, go walk, jog in place, walk in your house, go, you know, whatever it is you, you can do for you. Remember, our mind is a very powerful thing. And if we don't have it at ease, it can wander away and get the best of us. So, my name is Orlando Machuca Jr. For those of you that don't know, uh, your DMV socialite instructor. And I really miss teaching, so you might see some classes, some live classes, or some outdoor classes coming up. So, please follow me. And don't forget to follow Whitman Walker. They love to give information and they love to help provide information to those who don't really get to listen to this. So, all these lives where we get to talk and we get to just communicate with you. It's easier for you to hear it than to go and try to read what information is right, what information is wrong. So thank you guys for joining us. Remember to maintain your six feet, physical distance, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, stay home as much as you can. I know some of you still have to go to work and you have to go do this and you have to do that. That's fine. But take care of yourself. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Whitman Walker. And check in our website at www.whitman-walker.org for the most up-to-date information on our services and for more COVID-19 resources and general Whitman Walker services. Please call us at 202-797-4439. The number's down here. Follow some of our programs at the Whitman Walker Health Family at Real Talk DC underscore at No Filter DC and at The Corner DC. So don't forget, if you see all those little posts that I'm posting from Whitmer Walker, click on it because it's most likely coming from their page and you can get more information on the arts, on the people that are just having super nice conversations about women's bodies, about HIV, about STIs. It's super, super information that you want to pass down generations so if you don't know about it learn it because we're here to help keep our community safe and be super 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 helpful for you guys so don't forget we have plenty of social media influencers so we have david we have marshoon so if you ever see any of those coming on come join us say hi learn something all right we appreciate you all thank you so much for following whitman walker and myself orlando and thank you, Brennan, for coming in and joining us with the Whitman Walker. We love you all so much. Be safe. Stay safe. Wear your mask. You'll see me out there posting some mask, some cool masks. So if you want to know, hit me up. Great to see you all.
Have a great evening and weekends coming up. Have fun and be safe, people. See you soon. Signing off.